Hi everyone. Um, first of all, apologies for the sunglasses. I normally don't do it on social media, but it is awfully bright today. Well, it's actually beautifully bright today. Let me rephrase that. So I kind of need my sunglasses to look at the screen. Um, I actually wanted to share a little bit of my personal journey, my personal story. I was I was born in, in Russia. I think I already mentioned it once or twice. And, um, you know, we always kind of lived in a smaller apartment i guess in one bedroom which was actually i guess luxury at that time and um there was still a lot of space considering to how others lived and every summer holiday my parents would send me off to one or the other sort of grandparents um my mom's my mom's mother so my grandmother on my mom's side she was really ill she had a polyarthritis and i remember her getting up in the morning with such agony in such pain but yet every day she got up she showed up she made herself look pretty she got dressed and she had so much courage which back then as a child i did not really appreciate um but what i think i did appreciate and i did realize very early on is that um one thing i would never be is i would never be stuck um for me that became kind of my motto just get unstuck get moving um and get out there so I, I was very independent, even as a child, and um, and when I was 13, we moved from Russia, we moved to Israel, and then when I was 14 from Israel, we moved to South Africa. So I guess that part of my wish came true. We kept on moving, I kept on moving, I kept on experiencing new things, meeting new people, but um, deep inside, I felt like something else was missing, and I think that what was really missing is that pain that I've seen my grandmother have and dealing with the pain on a daily basis. Now, because my interest has ever since my, since I was a child have always been mind-body connection, and I remember for hours every day I would wonder where we came from and there must be more to me than just this little body of mine, I, I knew that somehow we are capable of overcoming this pain and maybe not all of it but to a certain degree we can definitely heal ourselves but i didn't know how it was possible i sensed it was but i had no idea so to cut the long story short um i went completely off the rails in my in my um late teens and also in my youth i then followed a career which i had no interest on but it was a good career and it paid great money so it enabled us to have a really great lifestyle and two years ago, I had this epiphany, I had this, um, I guess, a, um, an awakening of some sorts, realizing that this was not my path, that was not what I was meant to do with my life. So I got, um, I quit my job, not immediately, but eventually I quit my job, and I started a companionship and transport services business. And when people asked me why I started it, I wasn't really sure exactly why I started it. I knew that was something I wanted to but I couldn't really find my true why. And through a lot of, um, I wouldn't call it therapy, but through some energy healings, through some cleansings, through meditation, and just spending time sitting quietly, just trying to you know, remember my childhood, it all led back to my grandmother into that small apartment and seeing her in pain and confined to the flat, which she wasn't able to live in many, for many years. So I think that's where my true motivation came. To be, to be able to help people to have, you know, more experiences in their lives, irrespective of conditions they were living with. But seeing them struggling with physical, mental, emotional issues, I also wanted to help them to regain the health. And I didn't know how. That was the next, I guess, piece of the puzzle I had to solve. I knew that a lot of them would not be open to meditation, to healing and things like that. So on my journey, I came across um, a company. Well, actually, I came across products first before I got even into the company. And when I realized what they were, and most importantly, once I saw the results they were having on people, I was completely blown away. So just to give you an example, my uncle has been struggling with arthritis, which I guess he inherited from my grandmother. And for, I don't know, 10, 15, maybe even longer years, he couldn't really lift his arms properly and his legs weren't moving very well either. One night, one night of using one of the products, just one night, and that's just without even swallowing or rubbing anything, it's just a little patch he stuck on. His arms were lifting up. He could go. He could go and open a window. He could go have a proper shower without figuring out how to get the shower head down. Um, 
another clients you know when we used um when we used a, a nitro it's called a nitro nitro patch on her her memory came back and she hasn't had memory longer than maybe like a month or so and things from 10 years ago started flooding back into into her memory uh, with my daughter even who had severe stomach cramps one night just putting a earthing card on her tummy for a few minutes made her fall asleep and I mean I can just go on and on here and I was just so excited to be able to to find something like that because I knew those who would be those who are open-minded to things like that could could benefit so much from this new innovation so that's where I thought where my next steps would be but then of course corona happens and um, you know my access to my clients has been cut off and I had to reinvent things I had to obviously get more out on the social media and talk about uh, the company and the products etc and what I also came to realize the last few months speaking to many clients to me, even my friends and family is that more and more people are struggling with headaches and sleep problems and anxieties and even skin rashes so I started kind of trying to put pieces once again together. I love solving puzzles. Well, apparently I do. And a lot of these problems led to the fact that they were all surrounded by the gadgets. So whether it's laptops or iPhones or iPads or whatever it is, you know, the, the Wi-Fi boosters, which some parents put in the kids' bedrooms to boost the Wi-Fi because they're all studying um, at home now. And I found that there was like a common denominator. So... I've started studying more about the electromagnetic fields and um, and reading the papers that have been published and watching you know podcasts and YouTube videos by the scientists by doctors who were all kind of screaming that this is this is serious this is, has serious health conditions health impact on us and one of the one of the products that that we have is called EMF shields. An EMF shield is just something that you stick on the back of your phone, on your laptop, on your iPad, on whichever gadget, you know, that emits the selection magnetic fields. And what it does, it harmonizes, it neutralizes the negative frequencies and it protects us from absorbing them because that absorption, that's what causes the cellular damage. Uh, and what also what I've noticed that so many people, you know, once they got this EMF shields and they put it on the phones, on the, um, on the laptops, wherever they needed to put them, the headaches have reduced or sometimes completely disappeared. They started to sleep better. They started to feel more focused and less dizzy and see kind of, you know, uh, have a bit of clarity in their fogginess. So my message really out there, if you or you know, or somebody you know who struggles with headaches or poor sleep and some you know maybe memory problems um just not really having energy to get through the day life through the life day through the day life whatever it is <laughs> you understand i think what i mean then um perhaps it's you know perhaps they can consider just getting First of all, switching the phones off at night, or at least putting in a mobile phone, making sure there is no boosters, there's nothing like that in the bedrooms, and that they don't carry those devices on them, in their pockets, or sometimes see women put it in the bra, and even, you know, potentially getting something that can prevent them, and especially those with children, you know, using wireless monitors and um, many other gadgets, you know, warming up their milk bottles and microwaves, why risk it? Even if, you know, even if some, I know there's a lot of people who still think it's all, um, it's all a voodoo kind of thing and it's a conspiracy theory. But even if there's 1% chance that it isn't, my question is why risk it? So if, you know, if you guys want to know, if anybody wants to know anything more about the EMF and prevention, what it can, how it can affect um, our health, you know, our health, uh, affect health of humans, and what you can do to prevent it, then just leave a comment below and I would love to hear from you. I would love to get in touch with you and, um, and see if I can help you in any ways. Have a great day for now.